welcome. As we come up to a new year, all right, it's uh, you know just the beginning of December now, but we're coming up to 2022. It's really easy often, and it's really good actually, to want to reset to zero, to kind of check your systems out, make sure they're working for you. But there are also some bad things that you can fall into. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Before we do that, uh, you can support the channel by becoming a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership, or take one of my courses, curtismichael.ca slash education. Buckle up, let's talk about resetting to zero for the new year. So one of the reasons uh, that a lot of people reset to zero, and one of the reasons they switch to a task manager even, is that it lets them say no to a bunch of tasks they were never going to do in the first place. Right? We all have this. I actually have a hammock that I never hung this summer for my children, and they still bug me about it. I'm like, it literally, I live in BC, near the floods, if you've heard about it, and it's literally with so much rain that it's flooding, because I'm not hanging up your hammock right now. Um, and that's a task that I honestly just let sit around in my task manager for a lot of the summer, and clearly never did, because it never got hung up. That's one of the reasons in the reset process or one of the reasons a new task manager feels good because you finally get to say no to all those things. In fact, that's one of the reasons I love analog productivity. So one of the reasons I love, uh, say, bullet journal style, uh, which I do, I'm doing more again lately because it defaults to saying no. It defaults to saying, no, I'm not going to do this because the effort to move it forward in my task manager to move it to a new new book, if you switch to a new book, anything is too much. And that is you, your system telling you that you're just not going to do it. It's not valuable enough, so don't even bother. But even worse than that for most people is that when you switch task managers as a you know way of resetting to zero is that you literally don't know the new tool. So you may say, Tick Tick is amazing and Tick Tick is good. I like Tick Tick. I used it for quite a while. But if you've come from OmniFocus, things, to Todoist, anything like this, then you know that application already really well. You know what it doesn't do well. And then you move on to Tick Tick and you're like, oh, you don't know what it doesn't do well. So you just have to learn the new tool. And often the time wasted, this goes for changing note tools as well, often the time wasted in learning the new tool is far greater than any productivity you would ever gain. So what do I recommend? Instead of you know, switching your task manager as a way of you know, getting freedom from your tasks, just reset to zero. I'm gonna talk through the way I have done it in a digital tool yearly. Um, it actually is easier in a bullet journal analog style method because what you know, I switch books about six months through the year because I'm running out of uh, one book. And just the process of moving books means there's things I don't move over. So there's tasks that just get dropped off my list that I don't even think about anymore. So you can see my things three set up right here. I even got my yearly review and I've got some questions that I want to answer as I do my yearly review. So the first thing I'm going to do in things three is I'm going to create a new area. I'm going to call it reset. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take every single thing in here. Uh, so even this, right, I probably did my Friday wrap up one, but this follow up with Proud City, drop it into reset. Job search stuff. All right, actually, would know this one's gone. Uh, liquid web jobs, this would go into reset. Uh, personal site migration, right? Uh, I think I'd actually probably move this whole project into reset. Right, that's into the preset area now. Clients, I know this client is ongoing in their tasks, so I'd leave them, admin, uh, admin Friday wrap up will leave, business, I'd look at my YouTube channel, cron shortcut. Courses to take, and so I'd move this all into reset. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually come in here and yeah, put that into reset as well. All right, the TSS project would go into reset. Chores, what's in here? Purchase a blue rare rip drive. Am I really gonna do that? It's gonna go into reset. Replace cargo box. I actually do need to do that, so I'll give this a date, because I need to do that Saturday. I need to figure that out. Uh, hammock chair. This is actually one I talked that I didn't do previously. So this is gonna go into the reset list, because it's just not recycle monitor and cables. I need to do that again. Uh, let's do that tomorrow. Uh, replace cargo box, take out garbage repleter, smoke alarm batteries, don't need it because I don't live here anymore. Uh, and this will go into reset as well. The point is really to clear out most of my tasks from this so that I have new uh, things, right? So here's a new one. Uh, I will not live here on March 15th. This is gonna go into reset. There's no other errands in there, so that's fine. I will actually delete this project. Delete project, no more errands project. And I would go through that for all of them. I don't have a ton of extra projects in here. I'll go through and actually clear out all the projects I have. And as I look through these tasks, I'm also gonna look like get stickers. What's this? this is this chore? Get stickers, sticker loads, random sticker packs, Safari. 
Am I actually going to do it? And this is the question I'm going to ask. Am I actually going to do it this weekend? I'm not going to do it this weekend because I'm moving, so I'm just going to delete it. Am I, if I don't have a date for it, like I'm going to do it this weekend, then I'm not going to do it at all. I'm just going to delete it, not worry about it anymore because I just need to say goodbye to these projects. I haven't done this in months, so I'm not going to do it. Another big question I ask myself as I look at these is, is there anything bad that'll happen if I don't do these projects? And the answer is no, nothing bad will happen. So again, I'm just gonna delete the ones that don't even have any bearing because I am never going to do them. Now, some of the ones, if I was, wasn't moving uh, on December 15th, I would actually leave the task in there to replace the smoke alarm batteries. That's actually, I think I replaced them last year. I just put a one year. I really don't need to do that. I need to do it probably every two years. Um, so tasks like that, I will keep around in admin because they're things that I need to be reminded about long-term. Everything else just gets deleted though. Because if it was important enough to be done, like the uh, the chair, like I would have just done it. If I would have done the hammock, it wasn't important enough for me to do. So I'm not gonna feel bad about it. I'm gonna uh, just let myself free of that responsibility and not do it. Now, the big unfortunate part about digital task managers is it makes it so easy to make these lists build up over time. They just keep building and keep building and digital task managers are by default, yes, they will bring things forward for you. Whereas an analog system, it just isn't. It won't move something forward unless you actually take the time to move it. So one of the big pluses for analog productivity. I don't use it for everything, but I do love that aspect of it, that it literally will not bring things forward for me unless I force it to bring something forward into my next year. That's really it. Don't switch task managers. As you come into this new year, just reset. Delete all the tasks you were never going to do anyways. Get clear as much as you can. And if you're not going to do it this weekend, next weekend, then just say no to the task. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. Otherwise, you can become a member, chrismichael.ca slash membership. Support the channel, keep things going, or chrismichael.ca slash education for taking one of my courses. Have a good one.